Hey guys, uh, so uh, we've been talking about the inputs and the outputs of the Juno X and it seems as though you can get the main out, you can get all the different parts and the rhythm part and the vocoder part or the mic input. So that's what we're gonna test out. Okay, so as I hook it up and I look at the Juno X, I'm looking here at this many outputs, 14. So I went over here, I assigned the uh, Juno X in the audio, Juno X, right? And then I came down here and I saw that there are 14 different inputs. So I went ahead and did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14. Each one of those is stereo. And what we're going to do is we are going to record that and see what we get. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's give this a try. I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to put it on record and I am going to turn off the camera here to the Juno X and give this a little play. So let's go ahead and start recording. Give me a moment. All right, this is looking pretty hopeful, don't you think? As I look at the uh, screen here, uh, we can expand this, go ahead and close this, and we can even bring these. It looks like there's a lot here, and then some individual parts here. The only thing we didn't use was the vocoder. So let's take a look, let's solo this. So let's solo track one. Let's see what that sounds like, okay? I guess I could select all these bring them, trim them. And then we are about 14 measures out. I didn't sync the temp to the DAW, but that doesn't matter. Here we go. That sounds like the full output. All right, let's go back and let's listen to what else we have. Uh, this here would be the first sound. Very cool. All right, let's listen to the second one. That's cool, next one. Arpeggio. And then the interspersed bass, and this should be the drums or the rhythm. Very cool, and had we done the vocoder or the mic, we probably would have heard that. So let's put these together, but not the main one. That is freaking awesome. All right, just continuing on, we have tested our USB, but now I wanna see what happens when we record the vocoder. So uh, in, in this case, what we're gonna do, I am going to take all these tracks, I'm gonna delete them. Let's see here. I still have the Juno X. I still have all the inputs down here. Juno X. There we go. All the inputs. They're all set up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set all of these tracks like before to record. I'm going to switch over to this other camera on the Juno X so we can make some adjustments and create a vocoder kind of scene. So let's do that. So the vocoder operates on part one, number one, and we want to set that to model bank, uh, vocoder. Now on the scene, I need to adjust the, the part edit. So arrow twice, scroll down to the bottom, adjust the key range for the upper all the way up to the top. And then the key range low to about A1. That should about do it. 
There, now the uh, mic is set up. Let's get to recording. Here we go. When I look into the sky, I see the answers between you and I, between you and I. Well, that was pretty cool. And it looks like uh, we got both the full. It does look like we received all of it. Let's take just a quick listen to some of these tracks let's uh mute them all turn off the recording and then we can uh listen to them one by one so this here i look into the sky yeah that's uh that's pretty sad but uh when it converts to the vocoder it's not so bad is it so let's see that what that scene sounds like when i look into the sky I see the answers between you and I between you and I that's pretty cool and just let's listen to these other parts here when I look into the sky very cool I see the answers. Okay, and then let's let's add the second part. Very nice. Let's add the drums. The drums should be right here. When I look into the sky. Nice, let's add more. I see the answers. That sounds kind of cool, huh? And then the one thing I noticed that uh, is kind of an issue is figuring out how to get your volumes correct. I had a, a lot of playing around with um, the vocal mic to make sure that I wasn't... Actually, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's look at this. Actually, that looks really good, too. So we didn't really... Uh, actually, I think volumes are good here. But you have to adjust your, your mic in for your gain, the, the physical button in the back, so that it's not too loud on the last track here. You have to adjust uh, the mic input in the system uh, to make sure it's loud enough in the mix or the scene. And then of course you need to adjust your full on USB out uh, to make sure you're not clipping. Uh, hopefully that was uh, a little helpful to kind of figure out how to get the vocoder into this mix as well. We will talk to you guys later.